Hello again everybody. Hope you had a good New Year and Christmas. We're uh, back out again, we've come to a different part of Brecon this time. So we parked down, I'll see if I can show you. Basically the Story Arms is just down over that hill there. So we parked in the lay-by just by there. And we started walking up this big steep path. And what's supposedly weather warnings all around the country today. It's Saturday the 4th I think, yeah, Saturday the 4th. So we're soldiering on, it don't look very bad at the minute, but there's a bit of a black cloud over that way. So I'll have to see how we get on, but yeah, getting back out, 2014, New Year. Try and get a few more wild camps in. I'll aim to try and get one in every three to four weeks this time, maybe even a bit closer if I can do. But obviously, life gets in the way of most things sometimes, so. But yeah, how you doing, Kat? There you go, she's still with us, look, 2014, she's still here. Uh, right, I'm going to press on for a bit. I swear to God, all this chocolate over Christmas has made me all fit. <laughs> right, then, guys, we'll uh, chat back in with you in a bit and uh, see what's over yonder hill. about 45 minutes left of sunshine and we can't decide we need to go and walk down to the car and take this one as a little exploration or try and find somewhere to nestle from behind the wind and set a bit of camp up so yeah that's impressive that is over there first bit of frost to snow I've seen this year anyway I think we'll go back over here and see what we can find. Sorry about the wind guys. There's not really any way I can stop it now because my iPhone 5, the wind microphone's in the middle of the camera lens at the front. So that stuff that will not be one of those little sock things anyway. That's your room to the top of there, Kev. Just have a look at the top of the tree. to do. We may be camping, we may be walking back, we don't know yet. But anyway, Ants Wild Walking 2014. <laughs> Please happy rate subscribe. Woo. This wind's biting. Right, shall we walk over here and figure out what to do? Sound. Certainly some nice views up here. Have you found the path then, Tracker? You have, haven't you? Yeah. Well done. Oh, we've got to cross the River of Doom first, haven't we? Hey, I'll go up and round here, look. Yes, because remember, the longer and greener the grass, what does that mean? The deeper the water. <laughs> I might leave it on film just in case I get you in frame moment. No, I don't want to do a Vicar of Dibley one. I don't mind getting damp, but I don't want to get that wet. <laughs> well, bugger me, cat. I might have view range, but you've got an inbuilt sat nav in. Right in. Let's see if we can make it back to the main path before it starts going dark. Because it's coming down over there. Words. Right, well, if our calculations are correct, which they normally ain't, <laughs> this should take us up towards the trig or the top by Yugan, if I'm pronouncing that right, and then straight back down towards the Story Arms. So, with a bit of luck, 
we'll get to the top of this hill and rather than having a black cloud we'll see some nice sunset hopefully so cool I'm telling you I'd rather did this with my big bag on because it's like training yeah. that's what we can do we can flag all the subs that we're training <laughs> we have come out for a wild camp really but we're just training <laughs> Ooh. Well, still a little bit more of a climb. <laughs> Clouds now. I do like this new part of Brecon though, Kat. Yeah, because what we normally do, I'm telling you and them, I suppose, over the back of there is that new ad reservoir where we normally camp, so being the really active and fit people we are, rather than parking where we normally do and walking all the way over it, we decided to park somewhere else, didn't we? Get 2014 off to a good start, eh? I can, I've been out for about two months. It's absolutely killing me. It's all good fun, though. I know. Oh. Right, I'm going to put this away till we get to the top of the hill and see what we see. We got hail. It's just started coming down. <laughs> I think we picked a big, a good time to head backwards. Right, I'm gonna put my phone away because I ain't got my waterproof case on. But I couldn't let you not see the hail. <laughs> I tell you, then I've gone cold now. successful hunt and successful uh, what's the word and to our walking this time a recce that's what we'll call it a recce not a failed wild camp but successful recce it's all good hey there's a road civilised oh I'm at, I, I don't know if I'm happy to see civilization or not it just means I can get my stove on and make a brew <laughs> some snow or some hail anyway so yeah there's a story arms there and just behind it there's a really big lay by fit at least with 30 40 cars in it I'd say so if anybody ever wants to come for a walk round Penny Fan round by your garn round all these ones all caught and all around that way bang on place to park and obviously if you come during the week or on the weekends even Story Arms Outdoor Activity Centre. Story Arms isn't actually a pub, although we thought it was to begin with. Story Arms Activity Centre. You can uh, park your car. Christmas tree, should we go and get it? <laughs> I miss Christmas. Yeah, so what are we going to call this one then, Kat? We'll call, it, we'll call it a wild adventure training walk. Yeah? With your big bag. There you go. Oh, wow. while we're on the subject, the same bag. Here you are. Can you see mine? Is it there? Yeah. Exact same bag. And there's a little story about this. Uh, Scott from Wessex Blades, don't tell anyone, because I know you work for Tesco. <laughs> I ordered on Tesco's online, 65 litre pack, it was only 20 quid, and I thought, it's a no-brainer really, can't go wrong. Then sent me two, so I got two 65 litre packs for 20 quid, including postage. So, absolutely bang one with that, can't complain at all. There's a jalopy. Not your jalopy. I, I bought it. It's well good. 70 mile, 80 mile on a tenner. I'm not going to complain about that. I can come out every weekend and do uh, <coughs> training walks. <laughs> so yeah. What? How close can we get? 
Every time I take a step, he takes a step. <laughs> right then. I'm going to go and get a brew on now. And say goodbye to the Robin. Right then, guys. If I do end up load, uploading this, thank you very much for watching. If I don't end up uploading it, I've just been talking to myself for the last hour and a bit. But yeah. We are there. And up around that way. So we basically kind of went like that. Which, in the grand scheme of things, doesn't seem like a massive amount, but... I had fun anyway, it was good left. So, what we're going to do, Can? Can? Cat? <laughs> I think we'll have to come back another time, aren't we? we now that we know where it's like and there's some places to stop and everything. Yeah. We'll be a bit more prepared. And we'll have a, a wild camp around this part. And the next time over the road. And the next time over there. But for a place to stop, which I'm going to say is relatively safe, because you've got the story arms there. And you've got the main road here. I'll be right about leaving the car here, to be fair. Touch wood. So yeah, thank you very much again for watching. I hope you all had a brilliant New Year, a brilliant Christmas. And hopefully, We'll be back out with some wild camping adventures very, very soon. So, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs>